piece of advice would you give to uh, any student who wants to secure a training contract with a, a big international firm like Wild? It's very, very competitive out there. So, uh, first of all, I would say be sure. Be sure that you really want a law career. Uh, don't just do it for the money. Don't just do it because somebody's told you that this is what you should be doing, because it's a long, hard track. Secondly, aim high. Always aim high. Don't sit there saying, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a job in XYZ. If you really like the look of XYZ, then go for it. And then when you get an interview, what you've got to do is convince people of two things. One, why the law? Why is it that you want to be a lawyer? I've got to be convinced uh, that you really have thought this through uh, and that you are utterly determined to do it. And secondly, why while? I've got to be absolutely convinced, regardless of what you think, uh, that you really want to come to my firm because we want the people who have deliberately chosen to join us. I think you've really got to understand who you are um, because there are lots of different sorts of law firms and some are going to suit you and some are not. Um, when I applied for a law firm I was very honest with myself. I wasn't a super confident person and I wasn't sure I was going to survive in London. So I adapted what I was applying for to firms where I thought I'd fit in. Um, I think it, you've got to really be true to yourself and if you go to a firm where you're not happy your career is going to be off to a very bad start. So I'd be looking for attributes in a firm which really key in to what you think is interesting, what you think is going to be important to you in the future, and where you're going to feel comfortable. Do you have a single piece of advice for students who are applying so that they can stand out from among their peers? What should they be doing to differentiate themselves? Well, I think from my perspective, um, I think what differentiates um, candidates is um, those who show real commercial acumen. And I think it's therefore really important that um, anyone who applies to a firm like Clyde & Co um, reads the, the newspapers, um, keeps up to date with current affairs and, and starts to understand um, the processes which go on in the city um, because otherwise um, you're not going to really have the, the commercial awareness which you need in order to be able to, for example in my case, defend some of the largest law firms in the world. Firstly, apply to firms that want you. Mm. So perhaps if you don't meet an academic criteria, some firms are going to say two A's and a B. Mm. If you've got an A and two B's, mm -hmm. forget it. Apply to firms yeah. that are actually going to want you and get your application. Think, oh great, mm. I want this person. Mm. Otherwise you're just setting yourself up for rejection after rejection. Mm. Also a, key, a really key point to consider is um, firms also looking for reasons to reject you. Yes. They're almost not looking for reasons to take you forward. Mm. Any mistakes, you're out. Mm -hmm. If you and you've really got to show an unbridled enthusiasm for the firm you're applying to. Mm. It has to be specific to that firm and it really has to, um, the reader has to think, yes, they want to join mm. our firm and they'd be a, a long-term member, not just a training contract, and then they're going to go off to another firm. Mm. They want to base a long-term career, that's why they're paying for the LPC. By the time you qualify, it's estimated that firms have spent about £150,000 on each trainee, mm. so they want somebody who's going to build a long-term career. Mm. So your application form really, really does have to um, show why and demonstrate why you want to join that firm. So be nice and specific. Mm -hmm. Use actual reasons, um, award rankings, deals, but only mention deals that you understand mm. and that you can really talk about the key points at interview. How important are experiences like vacation schemes for securing a training contract? Well, I think it's, it, it's, it's a good opportunity for students to actually gain an insight into the kind of work that the firm does and also the kinds of people that work in that firm. So it's a fantastic opportunity from the student side of things. But it's also good from the law firm side of things to actually interact with students and see whether they're a good fit for the firm as well. So to what extent do you think students need to understand the business world around the law um, to I think be effective lawyers? I think it's very important because at the end of the day we provide a legal service and our clients expect us to understand them, understand the business that they work in and to generally be aware of their interests. So understanding how the marketplace works and, and kind of business in general I think is a really big point. And especially now when recruitment is, is very difficult and there are a lot of good candidates but also there's only fewer positions perhaps in the market than there once was. People need something to stand out with and having that kind of awareness I think is a, a really important mm. thing. What, what makes them stand out at that stage, the interview stage? Um, again, it's that passion, it's that enthusiasm, mm -hmm. 
the research, mm -hmm. understanding what we do. Mm -hmm. A number of times I've seen things in application forms and mm -hmm. said, oh, this is very interesting. I see you're interested in private equity. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what do you understand by private equity? And a little bit of a blank face Shaky. comes up. <laughs> yeah. um, so they do need to actually um, back up their application form with, with more research mm -hmm. at that stage. And, and I think really just try and enjoy the interview. Mm -hmm. It's a chance for them to see us mm -hmm. as well, make a decision whether we're right for them too. When it comes to sort of the interview stage, is anything they can be doing sort of specifically to sort of prepare for the interview, perhaps whether that's going doing further research or going back over there? Yeah, I think um, they should definitely they shouldn't limit themselves just to one particular firm. Mm -hmm. And I think with interviews, there's definitely a technique. Mm -hmm. However, that said, we find that the best candidates are the ones who are being themselves, mm -hmm. and you can definitely tell that from mm -hmm. from the onset. Um, certainly, I can understand how you know. They're, they're, Certain firms go for a type of profile of candidate. Mm -hmm. However, for us, we're just looking for people who are entrepreneurial, hungry, that you know, who want to be successful corporate lawyers, mm -hmm. as opposed to just a candidate telling us, you know, what we we already know about the firm. Yeah. So, um, you know, I would say to them before the interview, going back to what I said previously, do your research on the firm, mm -hmm. but relate it to, to yourself, and you know, explain why you would be suited as a corporate lawyer or as a litigator. Mm -hmm. That, that can be the real, you know, deciding factor.